La Casita Elementary School's Hispanic Heritage Fiesta has been rescheduled for this Wednesday. The coronation will be at 9 a.m. and the fiesta will begin at 11. The fiesta was originally scheduled for Thursday, October 24th, but was postponed due to inclement weather. To facilitate traffic signal installation, Kay Barnett and Sons will be detouring traffic along Norris to one lane in each direction at the 7th Street intersection from Monday to Wednesday this week. Additionally, traffic along 7th Street east of the intersection will be detoured to Marlene Boulevard. The school flasher at Zia Elementary on Norris Street will be non-operational beginning at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The City of Clovis Traffic Department will be conducting repairs to a meter in the area. The flasher should be operational before the end of the school, and if not, the Clovis Police Department will be available to assist with traffic during that time. The public is asked to please be cautious in this area. Demolition of buildings on the 800 block of Main Street and 900 block of Mitchell Street will begin this week to make room for a parking area with green space to better serve businesses and government buildings in the area. The Eastern New Mexico News reported the Curry County Commission approved a partnership with Main Street Incorporated to submit a grant project proposal for planning, designing, and constructing the project. The grant would allow up to $80,000 for the project with a 20% match, 60% of which must be in cash, while 40% may be in kind. County Manager Lance Pyle said the funds for the project are already budgeted and the county will be the fiscal agent for the grant if awarded. The county also received a state appropriation in 2019 for $575,000 for the demolition and construction portions of the project. The Portales Municipal Airport was one of the four airports in the state to receive Federal Aviation Administration grants for infrastructure improvements, according to a release from New Mexico's congressional delegation. The City of Clovis Parks and Recreation Department will be hosting the citywide trek for trash from 8 a.m. until noon Saturday, November 2nd. The event will begin at the Parks and Recreation Department located at 500 Sycamore Street. Registration and t-shirts will be available beginning at 7.30 a.m. And teams can also sign up in advance by calling 575-769-7870. Breakfast, lunch, and a t-shirt are provided for all participants and trophies are distributed for first, second, and third place based on bags of trash collected. Last year's fall event had 185 volunteers who collected 44 tons of trash. Fees at the Clovis Regional Landfill will be waived for Curry County residents from noon Friday, November 1st until noon Monday, November 4th. Dumping of tires will be allowed for residential customers only and limited to nine passenger vehicle tires per household. New Mexico has joined a dozen other states in committing to advanced principles aimed at bolstering outdoor recreation. The state's new director of outdoor recreation signed on during a three-day event in St. George, Utah that drew government officials, land managers, industry representatives, and others. The accords embody principles that focus on conservation and stewardship, education and workforce training, economic development, and public health and wellness. They were developed last year by a bipartisan group of several states to promote and advance best practices for all states to consider. Annual performance evaluations are done and have been delivered to nearly 20,000 public school teachers across New Mexico as the state places a new emphasis on classroom observations by principals and leaves out student test scores. Deputy Public Education Secretary says the state's teacher evaluation system is evolving as the task force designs a solution that should be in place by next fall. Evaluations recently delivered to teachers for the 2018-2019 school year did away with five-tier rating systems that ran the gamut from exemplary to ineffective. 